In today's video, I'm excited to introduce to you the several different categories that we have as part of our Kirby Allison permanent collection of sovereign grade ties. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. I'm excited to finally launch my new collection of Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade Ties. In the last video, I spoke about how it took three years to develop this entire collection and how difficult it was to pull all the elements together to produce what I believe is the best tie in the world. These are absolutely fantastic ties that feature great hands and most importantly tie beautiful knots and I'm excited to finally have them on HangerProject.com. Now our permanent collection is designed to really be the perennials, these ties that never go out of style, that always have a place in a man's wardrobe, and that's what we're launching with this collection first. And in this video, I just wanted to go over the different categories or classifications of ties that are a part of our permanent collection. This isn't our full collection of ties, it's just one or two to represent each category. If you wanna see the full collection, of course, visit hangerproject.com for all of our ties. So I've loved developing my collection of ties, and a lot of the ties that are a part of our permanent collection are ties that I personally fell in love with and found myself wearing all the time, and that's why we put them in our permanent collection, is because they're just such great classic ties. So first, we have our satin ties. Now, if you're like me, whenever you first think of a satin tie, you think of Regis Philbin with a, you know, a really shiny kind of gaudy satin ties. But the satin ties that we have chosen for our permanent collection really have a soft shine and really showcase the beauty and the quality of the silk. So whenever you see a satin tie, really what you're appreciating here isn't just the soft hand and the beautiful texture, uh, but it's the quality of the silk that's being used to make the tie. We have a whole range of beautiful colors, and if you're looking for a simple tie that has a little bit of a pop to it and a little bit of dressiness to it, you really can't go wrong with the satin tie. Next, we have our Macclesfields and our Spittlesfields. Macclesfields and Spittlesfields are really synonymous with one another, and these were two small British towns that were specializing in printing these small, repeating geometric shapes. Now, if you like just the neatness of a geometric repeating pattern, these are absolutely beautiful ties. We have them made in a 36 ounce silk, which gives a nice, beautiful hand without making it too heavy of a silk. And of course, we've got beautiful colorways. So these are two of my favorites. You know, each have a little bit of yellow to pop, but we have an entire collection of these ties. So next we have our reps, which come from British regimental ties. So these rep ties all have a very British military history to them. All of our rep ties are of the British rep, which slant from the left shoulder to the right. Uh, and the ones that we've chosen on the product listings uh, tell you a little bit about the regiment from which they have originated. Next, we move on to our dots. Again, I love the nice, tight, kind of repeating patterns of a dot tie. First, we have our small dot jacquard, which is a woven tie. And I love the small, nice, neat, and tight repeating pattern of a small dot tie. I mean, these are classic ties that every man should have a part of their wardrobe. And then next we have a tie that I also love, which is called a London dot or a London spot, which is a slightly larger dot that is printed onto the silk. So this is a printed uh, silk tie, making it a foulard where this is a jacquard. Next we have our ancient matter ties, which is a very special and unique uh, way of printing the silk or dyeing the silk. Uh, we have an entire video, A Shoeshine Sunday, where we sat down with Robert Keat. Uh, his uh, firm is the last firm in the world that is still dyeing silk using the traditional ancient matter process. I love ancient matter ties because they have a really soft, chalky hand that is caused because the ties are dipped several times throughout the dyeing process, and that causes the silk to break down a little bit, kind of giving it that nice, chalky hand. One of the other hallmarks of a beautiful ancient matter tie, of course, is this blue indigo color because the dyes uh, or the ties are, or the silk is dipped into an indigo bath as it's going through the dyeing process. Moving on, we have our jacquards. Now, jacquard is basically a French word for woven ties. So a jacquard is a woven tie, whereas a foulard is the French word for printed ties. Uh, but you know, in Britain, you'd call these woven ties and these printed ties. Now, jacquards uh, are woven, and so each of the strand that is being used to weave the tie is individually dyed. 
and you have a really incredible visual texture to a jack card that you just don't get with other ties. All of our ties have small, repeating patterns, uh, nothing too big, and beautiful colors. And so what I love about a jack card is just look at the contrast that you have between the burgundy, the yellow, and the blue. This is something that you can really only get with a woven tie because again, each of those uh, strands or yarns being used to weave this is individually dyed. So next, moving on, we have a special class of jack cards, which I call our wedding ties or our formal ties. Of course, everyone is familiar with probably my favorite tie uh, right now on the face of the earth, which is our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade Basket Weave Tie. But we also have other formal ties you know, that we offer here at Kirby Allison that are great ties that you can wear with a darker a business suit during the day, uh, at night going to a dinner, or on Sunday at church. And finally, one of the most versatile category of ties, if all these ties aren't versatile, I mean, it's kind of hard to pick favorites, but are grenadines. Now, grenadines are a very special woven tie that there's only one mill left in all of Italy on Lake Como that is weaving these grenadine ties. It's on a 100-year-old loom, and it's a solid woven tie. Now, we have two different grenadines, the grenadine grossas and the grenadine finas. The grossa has a larger weave pattern to it, producing more visual texture. And then the finas have a smaller, tighter weave to it that has a little bit of a tighter visual texture to it. What I love about grenadine ties are their versatility and the ease at which they can be worn. I mean, this outfit I'm wearing right now, I could easily throw this tie on and it would work perfectly. You get the elegance of a solid tie with, while still maintaining some visual texture uh, whenever you compare it to, say, something like a satin tie. So grenadines are staples. I never travel without a grenadine just because of how easy and how versatile they are to wear. And the other thing about grenadines is that they come in a huge range of colors. I think we've got over 12 different colors to our grenadine ties as a part of our permanent collection. Uh, and it just allows you to have fun with them and experiment a little bit. So as you can see from this collection, we have a very broad range of beautiful, timeless, classic ties uh, that are very easy to wear. And one of the other things that I think is great about this permanent collection is that we have them in two lengths, right? So we have a standard 150 centimeter by eight and a half, and we have a longer 160 centimeter by nine centimeters uh, that produces uh, a beautiful classic proportion, but for taller gentlemen. All of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade ties are available exclusively on hangerproject.com. And if you're someone like me that loves beautiful ties, go check these out.